this video will display the ease at which <clears throat> you can brainwash people. I'm hearing all these people make these statements about Andrew Tate. Now, don't get me wrong. There could be some possible suspicion about Andrew Tate. Don't get it twisted. I don't think that it's a coincidence that it that he just so happened to pop up after Kevin Samuels. But at the same time, it's not a coincidence that this guy is 36 years old, allegedly done the things he's alleged to have done years ago, or, you know, or some time ago. <coughs> Excuse me. And you wait until his most popular moment to arrest him. Now, needless to say, you can file this under men of influence yet again at how we're not living in a free world and that he's just a free man. You know, um, if you if you decide to listen to him, you listen to him. If you don't, you don't. But simply because he says some stuff and has some viewpoints that go against because keep in mind, I think I've done visual evidence videos of 300,000 cases of grape in the Catholic Church. And yet very little to nothing is done about it. And the people are not drug across Front Street. They're not drug across the media. You don't see no Catholic per, uh, priests with handcuffs. As a matter of fact, when Jerry Sandusky was violating uh, boys at Penn State, you just didn't see the degradation. You didn't see his image and his face drug out there. You didn't see him splattered all over Twitter. Neither did you see the guy who owns the website, which took the lovely photo that you're looking at right now. That would be Duke Skywalker. Um, Hold on just a second. Let me go to a screenshot because uh, I screenshot it. Uh, one of the uh, descriptions. Hold on real quick. Let me find it. I screenshot it. One of the descriptions of his his trash website. Right. Because allegedly, hold on, God damn it! I can't stand this. I'm trying to bring up, curse you, raggedy ass Android. I mean, at just this time, like right now, like as I'm literally recording, I've never really ran into this. Unbelievable. I'm trying to bring up a photo that I screenshotted. And I'm having a problem with this phone that I've never had before. Hold on. Here it is. Like, wow. Give me a break, phone. Okay. Okay. Ebony, let me describe the hashtags that you will uh, run into on, you know, a description of the uh, website Ghetto Gaggers, right? Let, let me describe and let me run across some of the hashtags. Um, Ebony Anal. Face fuck. Slap, spank, piss, face slapping ebony, ebony ghetto gaggers, ebony ghetto gaggers, Argentinian face slap, black slapping, ebony gagging, ebony ghetto slut, uh, Jorge profound vomit, foot gag, vomit, ebony gagging, puke, face spitting, puke, vomit, ebony puke. Face fuck extreme, vomit, puke, deep throat, face fuck brutal. Okay, those are just some of the hashtags. And I, you know, I just read, you know, a lot of them were repetitive, you know, but I just read them all. And that's some of the stuff that we got going on over at Ghetto Gaggers. Not to mention that whenever you, uh, if, if you look at any adult material from other countries outside the U.S., those countries don't have our laws. So um, underage uh, material is all on Pornhub. It literally is. It's on Pornhub. It's, it's on X video. I'm not going to tell you how to access it, but often it's just entering in the names of schoolgirls, foreign nation. Boom. Right in your face. Right in the classrooms. You know, right over there in Zimbabwe, Kenya, Jamaica. Eastern Europe, right there in the classrooms, dead in your face. And you ask the question, look, I'm going to tell you why nothing gets said about it. There's this thing that you hear me say all the time. On the eighth day, God did not create news media. 
So people just believe that if you pick up a TV, a radio, a magazine, a newspaper, it's just there. And that there's nothing behind it. Look, there's people. There's an organization behind Ghetto Gaggers, behind Pornhub, behind X videos. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, they'll ask you, do you want to become a model with us? You're going to have to get in contact with people. Those are people that whenever you ride through L.A., Chicago, uh, St. Louis, New York, New Jersey, Charlotte, Atlanta, Miami, any any big city, them big giant buildings, a lot of the people work in those buildings. A lot of those buildings are just headquarters for various different companies and institutions and organizations. There's an actual physical organization that posts up ad- a, a underage violation of young people on the Internet, yet they go after a Andrew Tate. So it's a very picky and choosy. And it's funny to me at how ignorant, stupid little peasants that believe that the media, that God created media on eight day and that in no shape or way do you have to investigate anything in no shape or way do agendas and things that you see have aspects of different people's thinking or institutional thinking attached to them there's a reason why transsexuals are reading to your children and a person that teaches uh, teaches about manhood and being masculine (laughs) is demonized now uh he's more off teaching to be a metro player he's not teaching to be a family man this is a metro player so he's gonna get a lot of hate Especially being a white boy, man. Black dudes hate, but boy, I'm going to tell you, white boys take that shit to the next level. You don't even want to see white boy hateism because of most of the hate are going to come from straight gay dudes. And see, with black dudes, they'll be gay too, but they'll conceal it. That, you know, they'll conceal that, you know, well, this guy who gets all these women, he's so toxically masculine. You know, you you know, white dudes will say some stuff like he's so toxically masculine and he hates women. You know, black dudes will be like, yeah, fuck that nigga, man. Ain't nobody sweating that nigga. You know, better go, be, 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 be. you know, hate, hate, hate. Your nigga think all the women want him and you, you fuck that nigga, man. You know, it'll just be that type of hate. But white boys, that shit going to be gay hate. It'll just be, oh, his toxic misogynistic exploitation of women. In the meantime, you got black girls being having their bodies torn in half, vomit all in their face, spit all up their anus. You know, you got one, you know, the dude just get one black female to vomit in a dog bowl, slap her all upside the head, you know, take take another black female and stick a cucumber in her ass, pull it out and then pour the vomit from the dog from the dog uh, bowl into her ass, you know, and we're running around after Andrew Tate. Just a little something for you to think about and 1000 percent evidence that running after this dude is a political act. And part of the reason why you motherfuckers put mask on your face and do everything the government tells you to do is because they've been pushing gay sex, which makes you a submissive little bitch. That's what they want out of you. They don't care nothing about your right to be gay. I don't care nothing about you being gay. You you can be gay. But they push gayness specifically among males, among men, so that you will be a man who knows how to put yourself in a submissive position To give up everything to the big men in society. And that is why this dude is pursued and hated. I'm out of here.